it's terribly important. It's hard to break it down. It, it, it happens as, as you meet, you know, like uh, you meet them for the first time and, and, and some of them, uh, like in, in series, there are some series there that I did that, that weren't at Warner Brothers and then I was off the lot and, and, and jumping around at, at different places. That, that's, a, that's a whole, whole different area where you're coming in and then you sit down uh, with the actors and, and you listen to what they have to say and then you begin to talk about the, 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 the character itself. And how and and you you come to a, a marriage. You have to come to a marriage if it's successful. Of of how you see that one, one part and lead is going to go because it takes so many things, and that's terribly terribly important. And directors uh, who do that usually uh, come out at least with 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 a direction and and so so that you know exactly who they are and what they are and and. Where where the strength is, where it isn't, and whatever have you, it's 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 very very hard to define. But when you read the script and you know the character, then you talk it out and you listen and listen to the actor of his conception. And then when you see it, uh, there 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 are just things you do. I'll give you one important. Uh, uh, I, I lived with it, with it and I I'm, I'm just happened to go to a movie now, but it all works the same way. I directed uh, Rosalind Russell's last film, Mrs. Polyfax Spy for United Artists. It was a, a wonderful experience. And, uh, and, and Rosalind, uh, uh, she had four or five writers, and she ended up writing most of it, a great, great part of it. That was Ros Russell, and she's a very talented woman. And on the first day of, of, of shooting, we discussed, I didn't discuss the character that much because she had so much to do with the final script. And so uh, I am not about to tell her about Mrs. Polyfax and who she is and how she's going to play it. Look, and I've got the star and, and I have the woman who literally was producing it because Freddie, uh, her husband, was in New York doing, doing a play. The point I'm making is I, I waited, and, and, and the first morning on, on a new shoot, we were shooting it up, up in uh, the Tetons, you know, in, so in, in uh, uh, Utah. And, and uh, so uh, I, I waited, and I picked very transitory scenes, quick scenes, you know, and let her know that I could move, and it was this or that. And then after lunch, we came to her first big scene, and it was a very, very important scene. We played the scene. I sat there with the actors in the, in the, into their positions and ran the scene. It was a, a, a scene. She was with two other actors. And I watched the scene, rehearsed it. It was a long, a nice, long, sustained scene. And we were miles apart. And I had a big decision to make. <laughs> we're talking about Rosalind Russell here. We're not, you know, uh, and I just didn't see Mrs. Polyfax that way. We had not had these pre-discussions that I would have in any other instance. This was strange. And I said, uh, okay, gentlemen, take five. And I just took cameras, and uh, she looked at me. I said, well, I, said, I sat her down, and I went, and I said, I don't, I don't, see it this way, Ross, and uh, you may be right, but let me tell you Mrs. Polyfax and how she would, and, and I went and very slowly went through the scene and in the difference in, in how her Mrs. Polyfax, and I saw her reacting to this, and that was it. And I said, I, I'm either going to sink or swim with this, because uh, that's how I saw her, and I'd lived with the script, and she said, and, and she had rewritten most of it, and we'd not discussed the play of it. And she sat there and listened to me and never interrupted me. And she said the words one never forgets in a situation like that, on <laughs> top of that mountain up there. She said, Leslie, you're absolutely right. I agree with you. Shall we rehearse? Let's try, let's try it your way. <laughs> 
And so that's, I give you a typical example of, of you know, what sometimes uh, that's a, a director's input. And usually on, on, on films, and, and if you're doing new shows, again, I go, if it's the character that's already preset, that's not, then, then it's your input into the script, if I'm talking about the difference. And many times, uh, I can remember in, in shows that I've spent uh, a lot of time, uh, you know, it, it, even in, in beginning shows, uh, series that I've seen, too, where I read a script and the character needed, as far as I'm concerned, because of what was here, different reactions and so forth. And, and it's terribly, terribly important that if you see a difference in, in what you think you're going to get, or even in the anticipation of the character, that the talk comes between the two before. And it's vital that there's, that there's a marriage of concept in the character. And uh, then you, half the battle is there.